Hey everyone, good evening. So, time to continue our Darkest Dungeon tour run. For anyone who wasn't here last time, I'm two regions in. I actually got my trophy already, and it's a pretty good one. <laughs> and three storage trunks. And it's basically a group focused around the dots and cause of death on the Plague Doctor. So we got seven mastery points to spend. Uh, definitely going to upgrade cause of death here. Cause of death me. And then... So Firefly is already upgraded. Uh, let's check Baristan. So Bolster. Inspiring tune. Might as well. Anchor. So that's three more points. A fade to black. To add that combo point. And that's two more. I might grab a battlefield medicine upgrade. Oh yeah, retribution. And that's an obvious one. And that, that's one last point. Let's see. Well, I don't have to do the lair boss anymore. So that's good. I'm just going to grab a battlefield medicine. Alright, and let's check the provisioner. I do have a 50% discount here. Actually, way more than that. Uh, right, because I actually have a 75% from the trophy and the 50% from here. So everything costs one. Yeah, might as well grab that trinket for one. <laughs> It doesn't get any cheaper than that. No, it does not. Okay, the Jester can use it. Hopefully we'll find a hoarder or two. Or several. With this discount. Anything else? Oh yeah, pipe weed. Uh, yeah, I'll buy that. Actually, still have a bunch of in items. Burn resist. So let's check affinities. So for anyone who uh, didn't catch the previous few streams. Uh, the way the new relationship system works is that you now get affinity on a 0 to 20 scale and the relationships only start at the inn for the entire region. And uh, when you do form a relationship it only affects a single skill. You'll probably see in just a moment. So here, uh, when you're neutral they are unlikely to form a relationship, but it's not impossible. Below 9 would be unfriendly, then very unfriendly, and above 13 is friendly, then above 17 very friendly. So very friendly does not guarantee that you'll get one, but it's very likely that you will. Now, the downside of getting a negative relationship now is that Yes, it does affect one skill, and not only you get a negative effect with that skill every time you use it, in case of a negative relationship, it will be locked to your skill bar for that entire region. So you can't switch it for something else. You can if it's a positive relationship, obviously. 
but not if it's a negative one. Okay, so nobody is unfriendly here, which doesn't mean I won't get a negative relationship. It's just fairly unlikely. All right, I think that's that. What do we have here? Oh, plus 200 percent hoarders. That is actually insanely good, combined with a minus 75 percent trinket prices. Heck yeah, we're doing that. Keep the flame at 40 plus, right? Uh, let's buy Glimmer of Hope then, just to make that easier. Might as well. Here. All right, let's go then. The crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. Uh, did I use all the in items? Uh, yep. Okay, I didn't get a single one, what the heck. So this is where you get the relationships. But I didn't get a single one, even though I even have people very friendly with each other. That's really, really unlucky. That's actually really unlucky. But all right. RNG has not been on my side the last week or so. Not even close. The rancid crop. When has it ever? And abhorrent. All right, now we want as many hoarders as possible for cheap trinkets. Here's one and another one. Here's another one. A cash on the left. I don't need the lair. I don't necessarily need the watchtower either. I already know everything that's important. So let's go left, that way we can get the cash. And I might actually visit the hospital because I don't have a nasty disease. Uh, actually, no, this one is not that bad on Baristan, so we can decide after this. I can go for the hospital or another hoarder. I need some good trinkets. And with this discount, chances are we'll get something. Anything that would help me get more dots up would be really good. Right, so again, I have a 75% discount because of my trophy. Hmm. What is Baristan using? Oh yeah, right. Yeah, these two are pretty damn good on him because of retribution. So I don't think I'll be swapping them out for anything else. Unless it's something like insanely good on him specifically. No, I don't need stun resist as much for Act 2. But it's only 18. So, I mean, it's still not bad, obviously. I might just pick that up. I give it to my healer. Alright, I'll pick it up. But that's that, I think. Combat items, not really. Alright, let's move on. That's just the first hoarder of many. Here, 35 stun resist. All right, let's move on. I would like to kill Act 2 boss because I haven't had a chance to play Act 3 yet.
an impressive haul. Put it to good use. Hey, I don't have a personal goal to use four bear traps. But that's a lot. I might not actually get a chance to do that. And also visit one more creature then. So not here. Uh, right, so hospital. Do I want a hospital? We must keep moving. Well, I mean, this right now doesn't matter. It's even, in a sense, potentially positive because of Footman's Grog. So I don't really need to remove that. A 5% chance to gain one stress on attack is pretty bad. Germophobe is not amazing either. Yeah, okay. I have two negative quirks that give me minus 5% positive relationship chance. That probably explains, at least partially, why I didn't get a single one. So let's go for the hospital. We still got plenty of hoarders up ahead. Okay, shuffled. Cooperation is a bit annoying, but all right. Oh yeah, and I can't use Rampart from rank 4. One thing I'm looking forward to is using this group setup with Orphan Hero Path. Because that gives you additional plus 2 burn damage when she's in rank 4. And plus 1 when she's in rank 3. So that way, if I can manage to get or keep uh, this memory right here, which gives me plus one. This would be eight burn damage with Firefly, which is just insane. Right now it's six, and that ultim doesn't include the plus one. So with additional plus two from Orphan, that would be eight. That's actually insane. Hopefully the Exemplar won't ruin this run. That's what happened last time. That guy is an asshole. He can be more annoying than many of the bosses. And not just because of his 75% death blow resist. Right, done. <clears throat> Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. You know, I have been thinking about the uh, death blow thing. And the one potential addition I could see working and not be overpowered is, for example, uh, an extra memory that would allow you uh, to overcap your death blow resist by 10. Like, I don't know, once per region or whatever. Basically, it would allow you a guaranteed resist. Once per run, once per region, I don't know. Uh, but I don't think that will be overpowered, because I've seen some insanely overpowered memories already. Like this plus one to dot damage. That's pretty damn strong. That's really strong. No sickness on this pilgrimage. So, something that would allow you to at least partially reduce the RNG of death blow resist, I don't think that would be OP. As a memory, which you have to pay candles for. Okay, get it off Braggart. We need 
not be defined by and get rid of germophobe and get rid of pacifist all right i guess that's that and i guess i can buy one laudanum tinctures and remedies the science of hope also i don't think it's fair that enemies like the exemplar will never lose death blow resist no matter how many times he resists they should probably do something with that all right well i don't need a lure anymore so we're going left oh that's convenient creature then i have a goal for that it is low indeed to profit in destruction And I don't think there's any limit on how long you can fight the Exemplar, for example. Until you die or until he dies. So it can potentially be a very, very long fight. Steady yourself. Yeah, that fight can take longer than some of the boss fights. Like, you can easily go to round 30 plus. If you get unlucky. And if you don't die. So that one single fight, if you get really unlucky, could take an hour, for example. All right, let's just heal this up. The only awkward thing about this group is that I need to shuffle the Jester and the Plague Doctor around, depending on whether I want to use Battlefield Medicine or Stress Reduction. Still a very good group combo. So far I think this is my favorite group. The downside of switching to Orphan uh, might be resists, because with Arsonist I get plus 33% burn chance. So even against enemies that have relatively high burn resist, it's not a big deal because of that. But if I switch to Orphan, uh, that might be a bit more problematic with the resists. Then I might need some trinket that helps with that. or combat items, something. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I mean, the exemplar fight is harder than some of the bosses. And there's a lot of RNG involved. If you get lucky and kill him with like the first death blow check, it can be relatively easy. Uh, right, so I guess I want to do this. And he can constantly bring back uh, the altar as well. So multiple times per fight, even if you kill it. But if you don't kill it, 
Like, pff, that's the problem. If you kill it, the fight gets easier, but he can bring it back. If you don't kill it, it can get much harder. Especially if you don't have good burst damage. Okay, nice. Dodge didn't help you, did it? And it's not like you can not fight the Exemplar, you have to fight him at the end of Region 4. And the worst part about that is that if you get really unlucky on that fight and die, you lose so many candles. Like, you can easily lose 30 candles. Which is like an hour or two of grinding. Wait, what's going on with this dude? Wait. Why can I not target him? What? Wait, wait. Hold on. Why can I not target him? Oh, the spider has stoned. I was looking, right. I was looking for like stealth or something like that. Okay, fair enough. And uh, no, that's block, but the spider had taunt. That's a lot of debuffs. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Not anymore. I love that skill. <clears throat> okay, that's maybe a bit too much. Yeah, definitely need to heal that up. Is there any mechanical difference between the dots? Not really, no. They just use different kind of resist and the benefit from different trinkets, etc. But there's no like actual difference. Alright, next wave. Cooperation is the key. Yeah, but that's a lot of spiders and that's a lot of dodge. An opportunity. Squandered. Well, let's just use magnesium rain. Alright, could have been worse. Here, I can hit this one at least. 
Uh, okay, Anacard is... Actually, yeah, I'm out of position, so I need to back up to use it. Now let's blind this one. Resisted the stun, nice. Okay, good. This is a pretty easy second wave, actually, because sometimes they are really annoying. Now I can use Battlefield Medicine. This road cannot be walked alone. Are we there yet? The smallest variable can make all the difference. Get rid of the corpses. In crisis, we can rely only and it does that. So that should be worth at least one mastery point. An unexpected find. Yep. And a discount on all trinkets. Alright. Works for me. I need more discounts. Shame it can't go below one. Would be funny if it could go into the negatives. So, like, you would get paid to get a trinket. <laughs> that would be totally balanced. All right, let's move on. Right, so that's hero goal complete. Low indeed, to profit in destruction. Oh, this thing. Yeah, okay, that might be a bit annoying with this group, because it's a dot group, and this thing has 200 resists to all kinds of dots. So not the best. Definitely not the best. I think... I think Incision might be one of my higher... Well, it's probably Rampart. Because I have Bulwark for Rampart, plus 50%. And then again, I have Surgeon for Incision. So they will both be basically the same damage. Will there be enemy-based tombstones like in the first Darkest Dungeon? Uh, what do you mean? And thanks for the tip, I appreciate it. I, I'm not sure what you mean by enemy paste tombstones. Or let's encore Baristan here. Need to burn for that block plus, sadly. There. And it's dazed. Well, Bransack is slightly more damage. 3 to 5 instead of 3 to 3. Uh, I could drop smoke screen to blind it. Uh, but it's going to get blocked again. Nah, just hit it. I'll probably take some damage though. What's the difference after relationship system overhaul? There's no in-combat RNG. That's the difference. It's been eliminated pretty much entirely. OK, 
Okay, good. This might take some time. Hopefully I can do it in five turns, but with the lack of direct damage, I might not. I actually might not. You can still gain uh, or lose affinity in combat, but it's now telegraphed. Excellent work. So you know in advance, and it does not affect relationships. You can only form a relationship at the start of a new region, and it will affect the entire region. Alright, let's just kill this guy. Early results are encouraging. Yeah, I don't know if I can do enough damage in three rounds here. That might be tricky. Let's find out. I was hoping for 12, but all right. Okay, no, I probably can. Uh, should be enough, yeah. He might not even get a chance to shoot me. Two more rounds. <laughs> One damage crit. Okay, then. All right, could have been worse. And it's dead. Now I get a 20 crit. world wealth is worthless without purpose all right another hoarder up ahead this attention is unfocused give me something good it once on entering death's door, crit, dodge plus, and minus to stress. Okay, okay. That is kind of useful against the act boss. Because chances are I will hit the death's door, especially with the squishies. They will almost definitely hit it. Like, almost guaranteed, basically. And for 18, I might as well just grab it anyway. Alright. Let's move on then. And I think I'll give it to Bonnie. Seeing how she's basically my main damage dealer. Without her, I lose like... I don't know, 80% of this group's damage potential, <laughs> basically. That's pretty much it. So, all right, let's give it to her. As an alternative, I can give it to the Plague Doctor, because he will benefit a bit more from the crit part of it. And obviously he's a healer. So he kind of needs to not die as well. Yeah, let's go with that, actually. He needs to be not dead. All right, let's move on. I still got At least it one more hoarder. All right. I'm doing well, thanks.
Och vad jag har. Uh, all right, all right. So I got 51 bubbles left. Well, I can't really swap anything on a baristan. I mean, I can, but I'd rather keep the trinkets he already has. I suppose I could pick up the bouncer's belt. Don't really need the anchoring charm against the Agdavos. Plus, I already have one. What else does he have here? All right, I'll grab it. With this discount, I can afford it. You never know, it might save someone's ass. If I get something better, then I can swap it out. All right, let's move on. We still have something on the inn, hopefully. Uh, right, well, left, right, literally doesn't matter. It's the same exact thing. Actually, I should get my flame up. All right. It's dinner time. <laughs> Well, I should kill the goat first, but I can't hit it with Firefly anyway. So... Here you go. Yeah, too many mouths to feed. Okay, let's get our flame level up, because it's a bit too low now. Uh, I don't need bolster, obviously. Is that enough? No, it's not. Uh, what do you mean when picking who starts a fight? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Okay, uh, that's enough. Oh, come on! I need a Plague Doctor in rank 3. Uh, okay, and I got a disease. Could have been worse, I guess. But all right. I can live with that. Well, it's something. <laughs> it's Mutant Goat of Doom. And that's what I call it. I don't know what these things are. It's pretty hard to describe them. Please die. Damn it. 
Why does the burn always spread to the corpse and not to the other enemy? Come on, just die already. Piss off. Okay. She has 25 death will resist. Bolster again. Let's help her die, maybe. Get rid of the corpse. Nice one damage, buddy. Alright, she's dead. Yeah, yeah, final round. Uh, can I even kill it? It has 44 health. I might not be able to. Uh, yeah, I might not be able to. <laughs> I don't think he can do 37 that fast. No, I can't. Well, alright. Nope, I definitely can't. Steady yourself. What matters most is we reach the mountain. Alive, if possible. Glad you specified alive. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I'm fighting these. Let's just keep stress under control. <laughs> yeah, if possible. True, true. This road cannot be walked alone. Can we put the mountain while dead? Good question, yeah. You're right, in this game it's not very clear how much of an impediment being dead would be. That is very true. Okay, that one is dead, basically. The enemy weakens and wanes. And that's five damage more. There, that's enough. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Uh, yes. If you would get an affinity change from something you do, uh, there is like an icon. It's telegraphed basically. Sometimes you can also get it from combat items. So it's not random, like you know in advance that is going to happen. Great, he had to heal himself. Not for long.
All right, they're down. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. I need the bird traps, but I haven't found any. All right, another resistance fight up ahead. Okay, that's enough. The biggest problem with this group is that it's pretty damn squishy. Like 35, 33 health is not much. It's really not much. So it's especially bad if Barisan gets stunned or something like that. One damage off on the fire mouth. Well, she's pretty much dead, one way or the other. <clears throat> the one pleasant in the extreme. We got some load on them, that's good. Not necessary. And sometimes they do get affinity, just like uh, from uh, traveling on the road. Right. All right, let's fight them. Oh, this is what you were talking about. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. The yellow one is plus one and the blue one is minus one. So that's why like, I look at this. Because below nine is unfriendly. Uh, above 13 is friendly. Sometimes you just can't avoid an affinity penalty. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Okay, good. Uh, that's actually no damage to kill it. Nice. Look at this damage, already 12 damage dot. And if I had Orphan, that would be 16 damage dot on the first turn. And then I could cause of death, also on the first turn. Which would consume all of it for all of this damage. So that would do 48 damage if I used cause of death right now.
Okay, well, this guy is basically dead. Nice, good blind. Hopefully I can get Arc 2 boss with this group. I'll probably need a little bit of luck because they will hit that door one way or the other. Especially with like 33 health, that's just going to happen. Yeah, let's maybe heal up a bit. Oh yeah, right, and uh, this is what I was talking about. Uh, when certain interaction will result in uh, increased affinity or decreased affinity in actual combat, uh, this is what you get. It's telegraphed in advance. So if I use indiscriminate science on the baristan right now, I will get a plus on affinity. So instead of 13, I would now have 14, which is friendly. And of course, I also get a heal. See, now they are at 14, which is friendly. Same goes with a negative. Persistence will overcome even the greatest of threats. <laughs> yeah, first I got Exemplar to pass. True, true. Is the real end boss. Uh, okay. I guess I can go left. Alright, let's go left. Are there any characters from DD1 that haven't been added yet that you hope they are? Yeah, the Houndmaster. The Houndmaster was, I think, one of my favorite classes in DD1. Yeah, you know it's bad when a 14 HP heal is almost half of my Jester's health. Are we there yet? Just kick this dude's ass. Straightforward and effective. Yeah, I mean, they kind of did, sort of, in a sense. So the Bounty Hunter is not like a class you can use in your group. You can sometimes hire him at the inn for the next region. And you pay in candles. He's very strong. But, yeah, you can't just have him in your group permanently. 
and you can't hire him for the mountain. And again, you have to pay him in candles, which are used for meta progression. But he's definitely good. It probably makes sense, like for lair fights, maybe. Okay, 55 will be enough. Okay, max affinity. Well, that's kind of crap. Oh no, my inventory is full. Uh, yeah, actually, I should destroy something really quick. Or equip. Yeah, I'm going to use that thunderclap grenade. Alright, well, last fight of this region. Uh, maybe I'll use the cross feed. Oh, actually, yeah, it's already equipped. Alright. So, first the altar. Okay, let's just pop crow's feet. Empowered, emboldened. Okay, this will be enough. There. Really? You're going to use that crap on your first turn? Come on, man. Well, that's slightly annoying, but all right. And he resisted. Of course he did. Go away. Yeah, that's a lot of debuffs. Steady yourself. Oh, we stunned it. Nice. And that's from my trinket. Right here. Yeah, this one. Apply to attacker when hit. Yeah, I should probably heal myself, actually. I'm blinded, so not much point using incision. It might do nothing. Just heal up. Alright, so this should be enough. I want to start hitting the Cardinal. So let's do that. That guy is pretty annoying. Anxiety for men's insidious fears. Yep, Altar is dead. There, it landed, good. And now I need bolster. Because that's a bit too much stress. That wasn't necessarily tremendously helpful. <laughs> okay, so move the Plague Doctor back so that I can use Battlefield Medicine. Yeah, then I can use it uh, on Baristan, which will also remove my own dots, as well as his. There you go.
Yeah, let's just get rid of this corpse. It should be fine now. Unless he uses some bullshit AoE. Which he definitely can. Yeah. That anatomical map uh, is a 10% chance from the trinket I got. Right here. It's a 10% chance to add a positive token and a 90% chance to add a negative token. So I added like a crit buff to them earlier. It's an objectively good trinket, but you can definitely get screwed by RNG on it. You definitely can. But it's a good trinket on paper. Uh, doing well, evening. Okay, so now I could pop the cause of that. That would be 60 damage. Yeah, let's go with that. And if I get lucky, I might kill it with a Baristan. There it is. Got it. All problems have their solutions. Even the now I need it to work out that way on the Exemplar when we get there. And done. Nice. Uh, yes, you can rename. Still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. I'm not sure if you can do it during a run. I think only at the start. No, you can rename anytime you want. So, yep, you can. Uh, all right, that went pretty well, I would say. Pretty free. All right, that's good enough. So we're done with this region. One more region and then the mountain. Was this disease? Oh yeah, 15% chance to get the weakness. There are yet places such as this, where a little light still gathers. Minus 50% trinket prices. Yeah, so trinkets here should cost one bubble each. A breacher. Okay, that's not necessarily a good thing on the runaway. But I could maybe use it uh, to use Dragonfly. Because that moves you back. While using like a decent dot. So I could maybe do that. But it's not necessarily a good thing. I don't want her to be in the front. <laughs> I want her spamming Firefly in the back. Still, if I upgrade Dragonfly, that is potentially useful. And I could move back twice with Ancor on the first turn. A bit inconvenient, but all right. Slayer of Cadavers, all right. So I have Slow Tactician and Sprawl Tactician. What's the next zone? Consider your position. Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. We will be doing that. Uh, okay, so first, well, since I got the Breacher, I guess I'll pick up Dragonfly. I'm not super excited about that, but 
I guess it kind of makes sense. Shame she doesn't have a skill that would allow her to move back more than one rank. Like, run and hide is also a one. But oh well. I guess I'll switch Ransack for Dragonfly. The means of mastery. I could also remove it. Actually, wait. You can't remove a positive quirk at the hospital. You can only lock it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's awkward, but all right. Dragonfly it is then. At least I'll try to take advantage of it. All right, so three more. I do like upgraded smoke screen. Might be worth getting upgraded bellow as well. Uh, yeah, probably upgrade incision by now. Okay, let's upgrade incision. That's two more points. And I'll take defender. And I'll take Rampart, actually, since that adds an actual stun. There, we can get smoke screen next time. Right, so let's check trinkets. Spend what you can. Uh, okay, so... Uh, death below and stress resist again. I guess I could pick that up. Okay, I'll grab it. Just give it to Bonnie now. Instead of the healing thing. I can still give that to Jester. Alright. Anything else at the Provisioner? Eh. I would maybe pick up Invigorating Intoxicant if it was more than one. Also, it only lasts for three turns. Right, in items. Okay, here's pipe weed, I'll take that. And whiskey bottle. Is anyone unfriendly? I don't think they are. Yes, actually. Here. Okay, so that's neutral now. Hopefully we'll get something this time. I've been really unlucky with relationships this run. The last few runs in general. Uh, okay, well, I think that's all of it now. Yep. Each improvement, a new oh yeah, did he have any stagecoach equipment? Yes, he did. I think I'll grab the traveling hill, actually. Okay, yeah, let's grab the traveling hill. That's actually pretty nice. I like having that. All right, so let's do pig country. No reason not to.
there we go. We got something at least. Let's see. Okay, using Rampart will give Jester minus one stress. That's amazing. I probably won't be using Echoing March, but that's all right. Tried and tested. A bond to be uh, inspiring Tune will give Plague Doctor a damage buff. Yeah, that's pretty nice. With Incision, that's good. And using Cause of Death will give the Jester a damage buff. Then I will be using Cause of Death. One more. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, these are maybe not as useful. I don't think I'll be using Harvest. Definitely don't have the space for controlled burn. Tread carefully and quickly. This. I guess I could swap Battle Ballad for Harvest if I really want to. I don't really use it much anyway. Okay, sure, why not? Just to have that option of using minus one stress on Bonnie. I don't actually need that many more mastery points. But hopefully we'll get something useful from this zone. Uh, okay, academic study. And I have no option to do anything, all right. Uh, who has the worst relationship right now? A plague doctor and runaway. Okay. And I can't improve that one. <laughs> it's the only one I can't improve, okay. Whatever. Well, left, right, no difference. Stumbling and grasping. Shadows of what they once were. That looks easy. Oh yeah, right, the breacher. Uh. Yeah, I'm already slightly annoyed by this breacher shit. But all right, I guess that's why I picked up dragonfly. Not quite how I want to open my fights, but oh great, now I got stunned as well. Great. I mean, it's still a lot of damage, but it won't be as useful on the boss or on the exemplar. And another stun, really? Yeah, now I need to either move manually or just use something like smoke screen. I guess I'll move manually. It might just be better to move manually without using Dragonfly. Eh, I'll have to think about it. The past is gone. Let it die. How does Breacher interact with Shuffle? If you get shuffled, if you get ambushed and shuffled, uh, does Breacher kick in before or after that? In other words, 
Are you still guaranteed to be in rank 1 with the Breacher, even if you get ambushed and shuffled? Or not? Not that it really makes a huge difference, but the one group it would make a difference with is a group with a leper. Because one of the big downsides of the leper is that he has like no mobility. He has no mobility skills, and from what I remember, if you use a manual move, he only moves forward uh, one rank. So when you get shuffled, at the start of the fight, it's really, really bad if you have a leper and he gets pushed all the way to the back. So if Breacher guarantees you'll be in rank 1 every time, well, that would be really nice for a leper. Right, she can move back too. Well, in this particular case, I might as well use Dragonfly. The enemy weakens and wanes. Yeah, I can actually use Cause of Death immediately and do 15. No reason not to. Okay, that'll do. I guess the one positive is that she'll have two stacks of block plus. So that's useful. But the taunt is not very useful. I have mixed feelings about it. Oh great, this guy is in stealth so I can't target him. These things are just a little irritating. In crisis. Nice buff. <laughs> okay, wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of buffs. That's a lot of buffs. Messy. But effective. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit sounds about it, right? And done. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. Swine were first reported by denizens of a small hamlet nestled on the western coast. Uh, yes, there's a way to play around blind with a leper. You just need to upgrade his skills from what I remember. But yes, there is a way to use attacks that basically ignore blind on himself. Yeah, yeah, with combos. Yep. So you definitely want a jester with a leper. One for the combos, and the two uh, for the mobility jester can give him.
and he hit me despite the blind. A bit annoying. Malaise, measured and steady. Thirty-three damage. Yeah, I'll pop that. Piss off. Please die. Okay, that will do the trick, hopefully. Yeah, let's heal up a little. Done. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Not exactly the greatest load ever. Alright, let's do it. Oh, he's a viable pick, alright. I'm just saying, his biggest downside of the leper is that he has limited mobility, unless somebody else, like the Jester, helps him with that mobility. But he's a good character otherwise. Okay, so this would already be 25 with cause of that. I might actually be worth it and then add more dots after. Or maybe pop incision first. There, okay, that's better. Okay, good. So that's 14 per turn. Yeah, he's going down. Yep, and I gave him a crit buff with anatomical map. <laughs> this 10% seems to be happening a little bit more than I would like. I'm just saying. It's more like XCOM style, ten percent. Yeah, ten percent, <laughs> quote unquote. Uh huh. Likely story. He dead. He didn't get a chance to use it. It might be a problem on the final boss. If I give him a bunch of crit buffs, that's bad. So like, that's what I'm saying. It's objectively a good trinket. Like, purely from mathematical standpoint, this is a very good trinket. But it can really screw you over hard. It really can. Like, if you give the enemy a crit buff at the wrong moment, this trinket can end your entire run. It's not particularly likely to happen, but it can happen. It just adds an extra layer of RNG. A breakthrough.
another impediment cleared with impunity let's test this on the exemplar i mean i will be using it the loathing best the 90 percent is to give them a debuff a negative token but yeah I should actually destroy some bubbles <laughs> because I do not need that many, especially when I have a permanent uh, 90, uh, permanent 75% trinket discount. Uh, okay, left. The swine's cash, okay. A pretty shitty cash, but all right. Yeah, pretty shitty cash indeed. Oh, we're done already, all right. All right, one more region. The familiar hearth crackles inviting thee once again. Hard skin, that is nice. Two block stacks at the start of each combat. All right. Right, so uh, I might as well... Well, okay, so I could use Slime Mold on the Jester. And if the 5% kicks in, this would get replaced by a different disease, but it could be a worse disease. Okay, it's fine. And it's fine. Uh, okay, let's check the provisioner. Trinkets. Uh, Alright. Stress and the death door resist trinket again. So I would have to replace something else. Basically. I'm already using that on the runaway. And on the jester. I don't think you can use two of them on one person, right? No? No, you can't. Just double checking. So I could use it on the Plague Doctor. And move one of the other trinkets to the Jester instead of the healing bonus. Not sure about that. I suppose I can replace Greater Anchoring Charm. If this was Act 1 boss, I would keep it. But it's not that useful against Act 2 boss. I will definitely keep Mortal Ward. Okay, so let's pick that up. Here you go. So now they all have a 90 death blow resist, except Baristan who has 85. So someone is bound to die from the first death blow check. It's gonna happen. Just watch. It's totally gonna happen. Because this game is an asshole. Listen. And now I got one mastery point. Improve.
here. Okay. So I don't think I'm actually going to use Dragonfly. I can just move manually at the start. Uh, but I'll pick up Heartlight because Heartlight upgraded allows you to remove blind from everyone in your group. And that can be quite useful. So I'll pick that up. All right. Uh, so. Uh, let's check in items. So playing cards. A pipe weed, I'll take that. Plus four speed until the next in, I'll take that for sure. Uh, give it to Bonnie. And Flag Doctor. So let's check Affinity. I can get very friendly here. Okay. So that's going to be very friendly. Uh, well, I guess that's basically it. Alright, that's that. So for the final region, yeah, no, I'm not doing the shroud for the final region. Forget about it. Eh. Nah. No, I'm not doing the Shroud for Legion 4. No. The farms and no, no, not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going to tempt fate. The Exemplar will be annoying enough as is. How many candles do I have now? 35, okay. okay. I really, really hope I won't die on the Exemplar again. Because that would easily cost me like 30 candles. And I want to try the boss with this group. I actually want to try the boss. Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, okay, Fade to Black, minus one stress for Baristan, very nice. A Crush. Well, he's Bulwark, so I won't necessarily be using Crush. But if I really wanted to, I could swap. A Fire Starter, okay, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, that's like the best two skills I could possibly get for this. Fire Starter will give Baristan minus one stress, and the Retribution will give Bonnie minus one stress. That's amazing. Doesn't really get any better than this. Actually doesn't get any better than this. So hopefully that will help. What was the goal here? Visit an oasis. Alright. There's a watchtower. I see a hospital. I think I see an oasis. Right here. Okay. So it doesn't matter if I go. Yeah, it doesn't matter where I go now. Uh, I guess we should do that resistance encounter. Yep. Loading is a bit too high. Okay, blind them. Sounds good. So 
So standard group. Plus 20% damage, okay. And they are all blinded. That should help. Alright, so I'm just going to move manually here. I can still use fire starter from over here. So that's good enough. Okay. Nice try. Oh yeah, right, uh, he has a tactician quirk. Uh, right here, yeah, this one. 15% chance to get dodge plus at the start of each round. And the plus five percent crit. Yeah, that's pretty damn nice. A slow suffering. Okay, that's enough damage now. Yeah, in theory, this zone should be pretty easy with all the stuff I have. In theory. Well, the hardest part will be the exemplar, as usual. I have no need to do the lair. Doing that lair early on and getting a trophy with 75% discount for trinkets helped a lot. One damage off. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. Negative tokens include stunt. You're right. So that's another layer of RNG. <laughs> yeah, it's a great example of a trinket that's really good on paper. But it can turn out to be really bad, depending on the circumstances. Yes, burn that corpse. Man, this buff here is insane. That's actually insane. I hope I'll get that on the boss fight. Well, on the exemplar, I mean. He's pretty much dead. And wanes. The fiend's strength dwindles. Bye bye. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well worn relics. Yeah, a little bit too late for stagecoach equipment, but all right. Especially that one. That will do nothing for me, ever. Might as well destroy it. Uh, okay, hold on. Push forward. Look. Well, there is no other choice. I guess I should go left. Okay, let's check out the watchtower. There are a lot of question marks out there. I would like to know what they are. Maybe one of them is a hoarder, but I could still use a hoarder. Uh, that's uh, like bloating level, basically. It makes things harder if it goes too high. You reduce it when you do resistance encounters or uh, cultist encounters at locations. That's why uh, I want to do resistance encounters. Yep, you definitely don't want your flame to run out. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. OK, 
Okay, let's just finish all the maid here. Let us hope to finish this quickly. The animations on this guy crack me up. I need to kill the goat. Uh, no, Shambler is uh, like at the... Whatever it's called. At one of the locations. I don't think you can get him uh, from a no-flame encounter here. Yeah, see? Again. That's like the third or fourth time and that I noticed that anatomical map gave an enemy a crit buff. I'm not too happy about that. But 10%, am I right? Let's remove that stun. Okay. Got it. Totally useful buff. Rely only upon each other. Read that yet? Uh, that's some nasty dots right there. Didn't really get a chance to heal myself. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. All right, so let's check out the watchtower. Uh, yes, Arsonist. Uh, I haven't unlocked Orphan yet. In this case, that's a good thing, because if I had Orphan, that would be really bad combined with Breacher. <laughs> because with Orphan, she really needs to stay in rank 4, since uh, that gives her plus 2 burn damage. Uh, right, so what do we have here? There's a Hoarder, nice. Okay, Hero Shrine. Nothing super exciting, but we got a hoarder. So definitely going to check that out. Of a dying world. There are still some trinkets that would help me. And humanity. Yeah, and hospital later on, so I can remove the plague from the jester. I should probably heal myself, actually. Yeah, let's just heal up. Back to full, and the plus one affinity as well. That's 13. Nothing left to heal, really. All right, done. The 
unpleasant in the extreme. This work is noble. Now you can't remove it, you can only lock it. Alright, so let's fight the Ds. Yeah, yeah, you can basically remove them by replacing them with another trait, quirk, whatever. Oh, is the name to God, Black Philip? You know, they should have more enemies like that. It named elite enemies. This is like a rare variant of the mutant goat. And these are really, really rare. They should have more like enemy variants like this, just to make things more interesting. may finish the work. Empowered, emboldened. Okay, that was a pretty nice combo right there. Yeah, but now we have taunt because of Breacher. Just don't give me some nasty disease, thanks. And don't stun me. Okay. It's at 15 health. Slow suffering begins. So cause of that will do 12. Yeah, that's not enough. Here, that'll do. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Oh yeah, battle ballad moves forward one tile. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to need a heal. Don't you dare die, because I can't heal yet. A bit too late for that buff, but okay. Yeah, I need the, the Plague Doctor, that's what I need. Maxed out affinity. And I need the Plague Doctor to go first. Okay, here, we can use that. Kill that stupid goat already. Uh, I'm too damage short. Uh, still going to heal myself, obviously. Extinguished. That's better. Yeah, I need to move back to be able to use fire starter. Kill the goat. Okay, more blight, more stress. Eh, could have been worse. Just don't give me any diseases. Seven blight now? Yeah, that is a lot of blight. Not happy. He's squishered, so remove it on him first. Yeah, 
Yeah, Baristan has too much health, so I can't really do that. Just kill her. I think this attack can give you a disease, but I don't remember exactly. The one he just used. I don't really want to waste Ladanum because I don't have a lot. Just bolster. With Barisan and Jester in the group, it shouldn't really be that big of a deal. Well, I can heal Baristan back to full, or I can heal myself for six. He's a big boy, he can take it. The slow suffering begins. Okay, done. That blight was pretty annoying. The one pleasant in the extreme. This What's this? Oh, okay. <laughs> A little bit too late for that, but all right. I don't think I have any more anti-venom. Actually, yes, I do. All right. That might still come in handy, actually. Here you go. Now, I don't want to keep at least one medicinal herb in case I still find the annotated textbook. But I got four, so I can use at least some of it. Let's check out the hoarder. One of the last chances to get a good trinket that would help me with the boss. Come on, give me something good. Uh, nope, not really. All right, all right. Plus four speed. Okay, I think I'll buy this. I think I'll buy this. They don't stack, sadly. And what's my light level? can't check without leaving, can I? Okay, I want to be needing these trinkets. Destroy them. That's 26 out of 32. I guess I might as well grab the speed bug. It's only 5%. But, I mean, you never know when that 5% will save your ass. I might actually use that on someone squishy, not on a Barristan. Uh, combat items. I do have a personal goal to use four bird traps, but it's a bit too late for that. I don't know what my light level is. I think I'll just grab one glimmer of hope here. Yep. Or two. Okay, and that's it. Twenty-eight. Okay, and that's it. Uh, Sixty-eight. Uh, yeah, there it is. 
All right, let's go. The lost souls of a dying world, empty of hope. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty easy group right there. One damage off. A promising development. I have a feeling I'm going to win or lose the final boss based on what I get from anatomical map. Assuming I get past the exemplar that is but that anatomical map might either win me or lose me the final fight a trifling matter the past is gone let it die <laughs> okay another greater anchoring charm i don't have the space to use it but all right don't really need it Uh, right, so let's fight these. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's anchored. No goats, all right. Yeah, these blights are pretty nasty. I'll just remove it right away. That's 18 damage. Okay, that will kill it right away. Nice. That's what I like to see. I guess the one good thing about the Breacher is that she will have two stacks of guard plus at the start of each fight. But I would have preferred Breacher on anyone else in this group, other than the Runaway. Literally anyone else would have been better. It was pretty unlucky. Okay, let's just heal up, play it safe. This wound at least has been tended to. Get rid of the corpse. What's this? Oh, okay, more resists. All right. Right, well, I need to move back to use my proper damaging skills. <laughs> here you go. Uh, no need to heal here. Just bleed that guy. Uh, okay, these guys do not have death blow resist, so that's basically a kill. I keep Plague Doctor in rank 3 so that I can use Battlefield Medicine. Yeah, that's a lot of dots. Eight bleed, four blight, one burn. Yeah, I'm going to need a heal. 
medic. Give me a medic. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Well, I guess I can cauterize. Yeah, that's a 12 bleed. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> that's a pretty damn big bleed right there. Maybe a bit too big. Remove the corpse. That should be a kill right there. And maybe I can heal myself a bit before we finish this. And now we can use battlefield medicine. More blind. Anyone remember what the act to boss uh, debuff resist is? I guess we'll find out later, but hopefully not too high. Easily resolved. I don't think I can lower it. I don't think I have anything that can lower debuff resist. The loathing okay, full inventory. <laughs> Who could have possibly expected that? Right, well, <laughs> I don't need two greater anchoring charms, that's for sure. So next up, is it not? I guess I can go right. Analysis. Not sure if I want to go through that creature then necessarily, but I don't want to go to the hospital, so I guess we are going this way. All right, yeah, I don't want to go to the hospital. We got 62 relics, we can probably get more than that. Uh, hold on, combat items. Use up that thunderclub grenade. What do we have here? Uh, unfriendly, okay. And I don't have a choice, I have to reduce it further. Okay, stress damage is not really a big deal. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. So now, yeah, we're going right, because I went to the hospital. And that's the only way I can get there. Yeah, I hope I can fix the affinity, because I don't want to get some nasty negative relationship for the final zone. But this is a little bit unlucky. I ended up with six. So I needed at nine, at least, to go back to neutral. Which might or might not happen. What's the story behind the wagon? Honestly, I have no idea. Shit's fucked up. That's the story. Okay, plus one here between them. That's good. Alright, let's do it. I mean, I honestly have no idea what this story is. <laughs> Maybe somebody knows. Malaise. Measured and steady. Okay, not much point using Thunderclub Grenade here. It will achieve literally nothing.
And I got stunned. Great. Basically on my damage dealer as well. Not happy. Piss off. Blind. Okay then. Well, might as well try. Here, it worked. Large. Finish off the worm. Ah uh, yes, there are combat items that can remove a dot. You just have to equip them. Oh, uh, we got a disease. Uh, that's a worse one than I had previously. Forge? No, wait, that was the same one. Uh, okay. A bit weird. A breakthrough. Nice damage. Okay, 95 light. You guys dead yet? A steady subtraction. An invariable result. Okay, let's move forward so that I can use Magnesium Rain. Oh, nice. Resist buff. That buff is insane. It is actually insane. Look at the Baristan's resists right now. <laughs> okay, and that lasts for three turns. Like, that's actually kind of nuts. Effective. I need that on the exemplar and on the arc the boss. Yep, it's a lot of resists. Okay, so wave two. Eh. Not great, but all right. Uh, let's actually use Harvest then. Might as well. Uh, I should probably swap that out by now, but I suppose he can keep it. A fire starter. Uh, no, let's just pop uh, the Firefly on the Carrion Devourer here. Okay, so that's eight. Retribution. <laughs> that's a lot of buffs. Okay, Firefly again. Yeah, these big ass worms have quite a lot of health. 32 health and they start with two stacks of block plus. Uh, okay, now I obviously need a heal. So using a heal on the Bonnie here will give me minus one affinity with the Jester. So I'm not too happy about that. I guess it's not the end of the world because they are already at 19 out of 20. But I don't have to do it. Yeah, I kind of want to. I could just remove the blight. Okay, let's just remove the blight and do something else instead. Oh, I can heal with indiscriminate science and get plus one affinity with Bonnie. Nice. Okay, let's go with that then. So that's 15 out of 20. We can rely only upon each other. Yeah, harvest again. That's 14 dot damage. It's going down. So then uh, I'll want to remove the corpse because uh, they can eat the corpse. Nice, another buff. Looking good. 
Yeah, they can eat the corpse and like heal themselves, buff themselves. So I want to get rid of that. And that's nasty. That's nasty. Oh, taunt. Great. Plus one affinity, good. So that's 19. And another buff. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I don't mind. I definitely don't mind. Now I definitely need a battlefield medicine. Okay, that's also plus one affinity. Here. So 16 out of 20. Looking good. Man, these things are nasty. Not happy about this. Okay, this will push it to zero. And then hopefully it will die from the dot. And then I'll need to get rid of the corpse. I can remove the blind, right, I can remove the blind with heart light, actually. Both of them. Sure. Oh, piss off, damn it! Don't you even dare kill my uh, plague doctor. D everyone is at 90 death blow resist, but, you know, that doesn't mean a whole lot. Don't even think about it. Okay, well, there will be one death blow check here. I, I can't prevent it from happening. I actually can't prevent it from happening. So much for the strength that corpse. Don't you even dare. Come on. Okay, it's fine. Okay, this is a tough one. I need to heal myself. I was going to destroy the corpse, but I really need to heal myself. Obviously, I need to heal myself. There, a crit. So, Firefly will do free. Yeah, I'm a bit worried that this guy will use his stupid... He might not use self-heal because he's at 31 out of 32. But if he does, it will also give him block and a crit. Which is not great. Okay, the spiders are really squishy. Let's just get a burn up. There's no point using it, though. It will achieve literally nothing other than waste an item. Yeah, see, he's going to use that shit. All right. I guess I'll just use Retribution. Baristan can take it. That should kill the spider. An unavoidable end. Okay, another heal. That's my last battlefield medicine here. Heal Jester, because that will remove all of them. Uh, kill the other spider. Okay, now it should be fine, but I'll still want to destroy the corpses. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Uh, right, I have blind up. Okay, that's fine. Well, the spider is already dead, basically. Confers advantage.
Yeah, it is a pretty good group, definitely. The downside is that they can be a bit squishy. The only tanky person is Baristan, basically, so it's his job to protect everyone else. Another downside is that I can't really do a lot of damage to an enemy in rank 1. But by the time there's only one enemy in rank 1, the fight is usually done. So it's not like a big deal. Okay, that should do it. Yeah, let's just reduce stress here. Might as well. He didn't quite die yet. Done. Alright. That was a little bit close on the Plague Doctor there. He did have a 10% chance to die. And we got plus 4 speed in item. That's good. Oh, and we got the Death Cup Sports. So I'm going to use those on the Exemplar. Because he has 75 Death Blow Resist. So we can lower that by 33. Only for a few turns, but hopefully that will be enough. Doesn't mean he can't resist, <laughs> but hopefully he won't. Okay, 32 out of 32. Yeah, I don't really need 84 bubbles, because again, I have a 75% discount. So now we're going for the hospital, obviously. One more road fight first. And we're actually pretty close to the end of the region now. How's Affinity now? Uh, okay, 7 out of 20. I need this to be at least 9 by the time I get to the inn. It's not the end of the world if it's not, but I don't want any negative relationships. Okay, that's basically a kill. Bye-bye. Heal back to full, but remove the buffs. Yeah, no. Let's keep block plus. For now. We can heal later. Nice. Uh, that's one damage off. <laughs> okay. Fine, I guess. He'll kill himself on Baristan. Yep. They're not very smart. Just to play it safe. Might as well reduce stress. And magnesium rain is on. No, actually, it's not on cooldown. I just need to move.
And we're pretty much done. Maybe I can sneak in one more heal. Yep, I can. Nice. Just heal back to fall now. And this guy is basically dead. I don't need the buffs anymore. The work continues. Uh, having a character that could summon a random enemy to have them switch sides. Yeah, that would be interesting. If you could summon something uh, that would give you like a buff when you kill it, you know? That would be an interesting mechanic. Summon explosives, then when you destroy them, they blow up. <laughs> Mimic because... All right, let's remove the diseases. So that leaves me with 44. Yeah, probably want to remove that. Okay, so Vicious is not necessarily bad because I have Footman's Grog that converts uh, Vulnerable to Guard. And I don't really have, like, well, I guess I could use Greater Anchoring Charm instead, but from what I remember, Act 2 boss does not really have any stuns. And I don't think he can shuffle you. Can he shuffle you? Or can he move you? I don't remember, actually. I suppose I should actually move it, because the conversion only takes place at the start of the turn. So... Yeah, yeah, it's still possible that when I attack, I gain vulnerability, and then I get hit before it gets converted to guard. So this could still... like, backfire pretty badly. So I think I'm going to remove it. I could see the backfire. I'm going to remove it. Even the worst habits can be overcome. Okay, and that's that. All right, let's move on. Uh, right, so... Oh, hold on. Cash on the left. Onward. I don't really care about that hero shrine. Okay, there's a lot of, like, crap here. Let's go left. Check out that cash. It might still have something useful. And I don't necessarily want to do two resistance fights in a row. And then the exemplar. Back up. Yeah, actually, so with the Breacher, I'm actually better off uh, when Bonnie goes first before the Jester. But they both have 9 speed right now. Uh, no, that was another region. Oh, and I got a disease. Uh, come on, man. Well, I guess now I can equip that trinket again. But I just visited a friggin' hospital and I get disease again. Great. Just fantastic. And I will not get another chance to remove diseases. And that's it. The 
enemy weakens and wanes. This area looks a bit unsanitary. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Nice crit. And a stand. A deliberate we got the gold. Appliance of harm. All right, done. And did that trinket convert weakness too? I think it did. Uh, nothing overly useful. Yes, it did. Well, I guess I'm going to use it again. Actually, I guess I don't have to, because I don't really care about uh, direct damage on her. She's just supposed to get the dots up. So I don't really care about converting this into a strength buff either. That won't really do anything. It's like marginally more damage potentially. Maybe I'll swap it before the Agd boss. But for now, uh, let's keep the stun and the movement resist, because that's still useful against other fights. It's not like we're at the Agd boss already, we're not. Uh, right, just destroy some of this crap. I probably don't need as many stress reduction items. So we can destroy one. I don't need that. Uh, what's up ahead? Oh yeah, resistance encounter. Uh, I don't need the death cup spores just yet. Here, just use up some other stuff. All right, let's go. Free load on them <laughs> from a pile of trash on the ground. All right, I won't say no to that. Yeah, so I don't really have to fight these, but there's no option to run away. So I guess I have to. All right. But plus one affinity uh, between Plague Doctor and Baristan here. So that will be 8 out of 20. I need at least 9 to go back to neutral. People throw away the weirdest things. Yeah, it's true. Very true. Oh yeah, it's the uh, Black Goat again. He does have 28 health. Hmm. Okay, let's not use Encore just yet. Move back. Steady yourself. Right, there are some nasty dots in here. I'll need to watch out for that. Really? 21 damage? Come on, man. Yeah, give me some buffs, thanks. There you go. That was nasty. I did not like that at all. Uh, let's try to stun the goat. 
It only has 20 stun resist. There it is. It worked. And now it should die. Here. Uh, right, I don't really want to back up here, so let's move forward. Uh, yeah, I need healing. Medic! But not for me. <laughs> for them. You need some stress reduction as well. Okay. There you go, some bolster. Just don't give me another disease, thanks. There, the god is dead. That was probably a bit of an overkill. Heal up. A four to seven. Okay, yep, that's enough, good. Hopefully she will die from the dot. Nope, she won't. That's unlucky, but all right. Let's maybe help her out. Nope. Oh, they have plus 33% death law resist. Yeah, but that explains it. That definitely explains it. She only has 38, it's not that much. There, one down. One more to go. Let's finish this. Nice crit. Yeah, I need to move forward here. <laughs> One spot. We're almost done, though. Oh, dissection. An unavoidable end. Yep, almost done. Yeah, there's the taunt from anatomical map. Okay, done. Down these Can the exemplar get this shit? Plus 33% death low resist? Cause that would be bad. He has 75 base as is. I don't know if he can. I certainly hope not. Okay, I got way too much crap now. I guess I'll use up that one smoke bomb. Yeah, I don't need stimulants. Well, <laughs> kind of useful for the speed buff, actually. I don't necessarily care about the damage buff, though. Okay, let's keep them. For the mountain trash fights. Battle modifiers are a possibility for every encounter. Yeah, it would be really bad if the exemplar got plus 33% death blow resist. That would basically cap him at 90. Unless enemies can go above 90. <laughs> they already aren't subject to the same mechanics you are because they don't lose death row resist like you do. So I don't know. You can carry no more. I would hope they wouldn't let that kind of interaction into the game. 
where it would basically make an enemy permanently immortal at 100 death flow resist forever. Because that way, like, it would have 100 forever if it's not capped at 90. Okay, now I have way too much crap. Uh, let's destroy some of the bubbles here, because with 75% discount, I'm never going to need that many. Yeah, I don't even need 48. I don't need slime mold. 33 out of 32. I probably won't be using this, but I might still get hit by, by some nasty disease where it would be beneficial to use it. Oh, all right, I don't need the stagecoach equipment there. Okay, we're good, let's go. So, well, loading is at zero. I might as well get that mastery point. I don't think I really need it, but I mean, I guess I'll grab it anyway. Okay, so one of the last fights before the exemplar. Slow suffering begins. Okay, now all four of them will go in a row, and the body stand last. Nice one damage, buddy. Got the dog. Early yep, that's DD2 for you. That's a big part of the game, like deciding which items to keep. And when to use them. Because, like, here's the thing. Okay, hold on. Yeah, the reason I don't use some of the better combat items often is because I don't have to. If I can handle a fight without using them, I will not use them. Because I'd rather keep them for something I might really need them for. They're kind of the same in XCOM. Like, a pretty common comment I get when I play XCOM 2 is like, why don't you use this? Why don't you use that? B because I don't have to. Especially like a very long cooldown abilities. Like, for example, a Reaper that has a super long cooldown. Or Serial, that's a better example even. Serial has a, like, seven turn cooldown. So... A lot of the time, you will realistically only be able to use it once per mission. Maybe twice, but generally once per mission. So why would you use it against a fight that you don't need it for? Just to make it go faster? I mean, okay, you can make it go a bit faster, and then you die when you run into something you really needed it for. And it's on cooldown. And some combat items are I keep to use against a specific enemy. Like in this case, Death Cup Sports. I'm keeping them for the exemplar. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Uh, okay, so 
There's nothing else before the exemplar. Exemplar is next. Uh, let's see then. Right, so I don't need the Thunderclub grenade against him. You can have that cup sports. No, Actubos does use burn damage. But I probably don't need two different stacks. I can only equip four combat items for one fight. And I guess I don't have to keep medicinal herbs anymore. I was keeping them in case I find annotated textbook. It's still possible I'll get annotated textbook in the last inn. So that might still happen. I'll keep it just in case it does actually happen. But I'm not holding my breath. Yeah, and then the emergency never comes. Still, it's better to like never use an item uh, than use it early and then you don't have it when you really need it. All right, exemplar next. Should be fun. I might swap a skill or something. Mm. Yeah, I don't really need harvest on him. All right, let's go. Uh, 44 light, that's enough. Run and hide is pretty bad because it only moves her like one rank backwards. All right, here we are. Yes, so what I'm actually going to do is use Dragonfly because this will also move me back one rank, but it will also apply burn to the exemplar. If I get lucky, also combo. Okay, yeah, combo. There it is. So now I could use Encore and uh, hit the altar. And let's smoke bomb. Oh, great. Yep, I gave him a crit. Well, that's going to be hard to avoid because, yeah, he has 25% chance to gain self crit buff when he's attacked. Not much I can do about that. It's just going to happen. Uh, right, so Firefly on the altar. I mean, it's a tough one, honestly. This, this is six damage per turn for four turns. The altar has 28. So that combined with Retribution on Baristan, that would be enough to make the altar basically kill itself. Uh, maybe I'm not accounting for the region. Hmm. 
yeah, it's it's a tough one. I'm not really sure. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a combo uh, on the exemplar, so I can spread a weaker burn to the altar already. Okay, yep. There. This way the altar will also get a weaker burn. Yep, yep. Yeah, here, in theory, I could already do 33 damage to the exemplar right now, but this would be a bit too early to do that, since it would remove the dots. Mm, okay, I can't move. Oh, because he moves back one rank, and the Baristan is immobilized, that's why I can't move. Fair enough. 45 bleed resist on the exemplar. There it is, we landed it, nice. Slow suffering begins. Okay. The toughest part about this guy is, again, his stupid 75 death blow resist. It's not that hard to get him to zero, but getting him to die after that, uh, that's the tricky part. Yeah, probably retribution. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, that guard buff is actually pretty useful. If it wasn't for the fact it moves her to the front, this would be amazing. But oh well. So now, you're right, now it's much less because it already ticked down. I still can't move because he's still immobilized. I guess I'll have to stay here for now. It's a bit inconvenient, I'm not gonna lie. So, no combat this time. There. And dazed. That's 17 damage, 8 damage. Yeah, he can do that. That's 6 heal. Yep, death's door. Don't die on me. Uh, yeah, I probably want a defender here. I don't have 85 death or resist, but the last time, uh, like the last stream for anyone who wasn't here, this exact thing happened and she died from the first death blow check, like from the first one. And I had 85 or 90 as well. And she's basically my main like damage dealer, my main source of damage. So if she dies, that completely breaks this entire group composition. If she dies, it's over. I can't do proper damage with this setup if she dies. Oh, we stunned his ass. That's useful. Just don't die on me. Oh no, Plague Doctor is going, no, but I can't heal from here. I can't heal from here and I still can't move. I can remove the, uh, the, the Blight, but I can't move, damn it. That sucks. Yeah, it's because Baristan is immobilized, so I can't move. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Okay. I need to get lucky here. Wait, who had the, the thing? Uh, oh yeah, right here. Bonnie did. Okay. Well, he's stunned, so he can't attack me right now. But I need the death sports up, like now. I can try to land the blind as well. Might be useful. Okay, now he's at zero, so that's the first check. It's only 25% right now. Okay, death cup sports. So now it's now he has 32. So I guess I'm going to hit him right now with Firefly. There it is, got it. Nice. Just don't friggin' kill me with the shitling. Don't even think about it. 
Here, guard. If the shitling killed me right now, I would be so mad. That immobilize really fucked me. Like, it really did. That was extremely bad. It was actually terrible. I can't even get rid of this corpse easily, because my Plague Doctor is stuck. Okay, not anymore. No more immobilize. That'll help. Piss off. The slow suffering begins. Just die. Well, more guard. Yeah, it's from this. It's because his speed is now too low. Uh, okay, heal up, obviously. There we go. It's fine. We got this. We got this. Uh, let's finish it. You're going down. The enemy weakens and wanes. Yeah, he'll need the speed buff from the inn, definitely. Because... I could actually lose because of Immobilize. I would straight up lose because of it. Okay, done. So the most annoying fight in the game outside of Act Bosses is done. Eager to ply his trade. Definitely in top 3. Okay, that's a lot of crap in my inventory now. Glad I got that death cap spawn. That was actually useful. Okay. So I will keep this again in case I get annotated textbook to buy at the inn. Unlikely, but not impossible. Okay, I don't really need... Oh yeah, right, I don't need this. Okay, let's go. So now I get to keep all my candles, that's the important part. No matter what happens after this, I keep all my candles. That should be like 50 easily. It would be nice to kill the boss because then, other than the obvious, I will get to keep my memory on Bonnie. This one right here. Layer of pillagers, okay. <laughs> Minus 10% damage, eh, it's fine. Okay, so first let's check, let's check how many candles I got, 53. To begin again. So around 50, like I said. Trinkets. Oh, okay, okay, this is actually kind of useful on this boss because he does have uh, fired base damage. But do I have the space for it? Uh, maybe. I guess I can replace Greater Anchoring Charm. Not a terrible idea. And no, you only keep the memories if you finish the run successfully. Otherwise you have to buy them again with candles. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. All right, I'll buy the heat shield. Uh, I guess I need to use some crap first. And let's use playing cards first. And I got a whiskey bottle. 
So, okay, 9 out of 20. I don't think I want to risk that going down to 8. If I give them the whiskey bottle, that would be bad. I don't think I want to use it on anyone, really. No. No, not really. There's no reason to use it on anyone. Because a negative outcome is a possibility. So, nope, not gonna use it. Okay, here you go. Uh, so, Baristan definitely needs the speed, because he'll be mobilized otherwise. I think... Okay, well, the Jester only has 9 speed, so he doesn't need that. Everyone else does. Five percent chance to get a dodge. I'll give that to someone else, not Bariston. Here, Plague Doctor. Okay. Uh, as for mastery, I have 8 mastery points, I can max out like everything. So I will pick up a strategic withdrawal, I might use that for the boss. I have so many points, then I, I can like max out more skills than I need. Uh, yeah, battle ballad. Sure. Smoke screen, definitely. Cauterize, yeah, probably. No reason not to. I got like everything I need. Razor's wit. That gives him a dodge buff. Well, three more points to use for something. Magus Bellow. Two more points. <laughs> Okay, run and hide upgraded gives you uh, a self region buff. So maybe that. Hmm. Oh, a controlled burn, you mean on the lungs? Maybe. I guess I could use that instead of fire starter. Alright, well I still got two more points, let's level that up. One more point left. The second boss is the one with the lungs. Okay, one last point. Probably on something I want to be using. I 
I might actually swap out the Magnesium Rain for the final fight. So Emboldening Vapors can actually be pretty useful upgraded because it gives you a speed buff. Okay, I'm going to pick that up in case I decide to use it. Because that speed buff can actually be pretty useful. Okay, so that's mastery points done. A new variable in the equation of your fate. Let's check the provisioner. A book of creative insults. Yeah, maybe useful on Baristan actually. Something to ease the rigors of the road. He can get that. Still got 18 relics. Oh yeah, I didn't buy the heat shield, so let's grab that. And I guess I'll replace one of these. And that will give him 66. Okay, let me switch some of the skills here. So I'll take Controlled Burn. Hey, well, I don't have to do that just yet. Before the final boss. Okay, this is good. Still got 18 relics. Were there any more in items? Well, nothing tremendously helpful, but plus 20% healing received from skills. I'll take that. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. I thought he had that already. Yes, he did. Okay, I think that's it. We're ready. So, the mountain. Let's go. Once again. Let's go. Okay, give me some good shit here. I need some good shit. Come on. Unites the hopeful. Okay, that's really nice. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Minus one extra stress on Baristan when I use Inspiring Tune. Okay, next. Uh, okay, that's not really that useful, but all right. Uh, okay, we have a negative. The slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Uh, okay, could have been words. That's not really a big deal. Okay, that's actually not a big deal at all. That's not a big deal at all. Okay, smoke screen and the rampart. Stress reduction. Good. I will be using both. And I'll be using both a defender and cause of death. So this won't uh, like force me to use skills I don't want to use. And the weakness debuff is like the nothing burger with this group setup. One more. Uh, okay. 
that's not as useful, but we got some good shit here. Definitely looking good. Let's go. It kind of makes up for lack of relationships earlier in Veran. I had one in after which I got nothing, even though multiple people were friendly with each other. Some were very friendly, and I got literally nothing. Alright, let's go. Hey, let me check combat items really quick. We can use some stuff on the regular cultist fights. So, I'll save the smog bomb for the boss. I guess we can use Thunderclap Grenade on the trash. I might save... Not sure about stimulants, it's mostly about the speed buff. Not necessarily about the damage buff. So I probably don't need this anymore. Eh. Alright, let's go. Plague Doctor is pissed. He's still a pissed barista and then the move for like five minutes. Yep. Pretty much. Okay. So I don't necessarily need the Thunder Club grenade here. Okay, let's pop a Dragonfly. That will move me back one spot and it will use burn and maybe we'll get a combo up. Okay, no combo, but we got burn. So now, now I could use Magnesium Rain. What's his bleed resist? They're only 20. Let's go with that. There's the bleed. And now I can use Ancor. Hmm. I could actually save on core for the next turn. Let's save it for the next turn. Move the Plague Doctor forward and give her a buff and also speed. Uh, what's her speed? Right now? Uh, okay, nine. Uh, no combo up, so I can't get a stun. Yeah, Retribution. So on the next turn I can use Ancor uh, to use Firefly twice. Okay, he's immobilized. But he's in the front, so it doesn't matter as much anymore. It doesn't matter at all, actually. And the only downside is that Bonnie is also immobilized. But at least I can use indiscriminate science from rank 2. I can't use any form of heal from rank 1. Rank 1 is terrible <laughs> with this build for the Plague Doctor. Okay, so Firefly on the altar. The altar needs to die. Now I can use Ancor. And Firefly again. There we go, so that's 12 per turn, and it's at 13, so I'm one damage short there. Okay. I think I'll pop Defender here. So Defender, okay, hold on. This would negate the strength buff for Incision, so let me not do that. Yeah, let's not. Just hit him. Not too happy about that one. 
Wait, that was from an anatomical map, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. What can we learn upon closer incision? Okay, now incision. Right, well, the altar will die, so there's no real need to hit it. Okay, good. I'll probably need a heal. Don't do anything nasty. Okay, this is fine-ish. I didn't want him to use AoE. Uh, okay. Okay, this will be a really small heal right now. Probably best to wait. Let's hit the Evangelist. Then she'll have 95% chance to die. Nice, we got a buff. Empowered. Empowered. Resist buff. Now I can use Cauterize. Yep. Let's go with that. I love that buff. It's so friggin' good. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. And he's almost dead already. That went well. Okay, let's move the Plague Doctor to rank 3, so that I can use Battlefield Medicine. Or I can heal back to full. I think I'd rather keep the buffs here, so just Battlefield Medicine. Maybe I can push the corpse. Yep, or destroy it, that works too. Probably try to blind him. Oh no, I can't. Never mind. Yeah, I think he'll hit me one more time. Yep. Maybe retaliate will kill him. Yep, it will. Nice. Uh, that was pretty smooth. That was pretty smooth. So one fight done. Okay, let's move on. Reality comes asunder before our next. Okay. Okay, that's not too bad. I can maybe get a double blind on him. Yep. And the combo. There's the bleed. So now he has two stacks of blind. Hopefully that will help. Nice one. And the blind from an anatomical map. Yeah, that trinket is so good when it works in your favor. Uh, not so good when it doesn't. Okay, let's actually do this. Then I can use incision and I'll be able to use Firefly with a bony right away. 
Okay, descend. Yeah, the Evangelists still have a dodge buff, so I kind of want to hit the Cardinal. Okay. And that's 14 per turn. Shame I don't have combo up. Yeah, here comes the AoE, and uh, he missed everything. Okay. Now I can use Bellow. Okay, 22 damage from cause of that. That would push him to zero, but he will take 14. Okay, I'm one damage short uh, to get him to zero with these dots right now. Uh, okay, that's slightly unfortunate. Yeah, no, this is actually good. Yeah, okay, let's hit him with this. That will push him to death's door, then I can hit him with the bony. That's effectively two chances to kill him. One from the uh, damage and the second from the dot. Got it. Nice. Now just the evangelists, that's not really a big problem here. That was pretty smooth. I barely took any damage on this fight. I actually barely took any damage. And I still have Encore. I guess I might as well use it now. Okay, that wasn't as useful as I thought it would be. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Okay, now I can use Firefly. Nice one, crit. I do hope we can kill the boss, because I would like to do Act 3. I've not had the chance to do it all this time. Okay, that's 50%. Let's just pop a retribution. Nice hit. Bye bye. And done. Nice. These are some of the smoothest, coldest fights I had in the mountain, like ever. This work is noble. Hopefully, a good sign for the boss. Yeah, I really like upgraded smoke screen. It's pretty good. The Collegianus Cathedral, malign temple of the Iron Crown. Yeah, uh, let's rearrange the skills. So, okay, with Stand Fast, I would reduce Jester's Stress. And I do have Bulwark, so I would also get Taunt with that. I guess I don't really need Bellow on this boss, right? I see no real need for Bellow here. Sure, the speed debuff is kind of useful. Uh, 
I can't remove Defender because that's part of the negative relationship. Mm, yeah, well... If I take Stand Fast, it would have to be instead of Bellow, basically. And I, I never upgraded Stand Fast, so I don't think that really makes any sense. Uh, right, let's just get strategic with Rowal. That's what I was going to do. No Stand Fast. Everything else stays. Rampart will still do decent damage because I'm Bulwark, so I get plus 50% damage with Rampart. And also, when the enemy has a combo, I have a chance to stun it. So, but yeah, I don't need Bellow for this boss. It won't really do much. The only use case would be if he gets a crit buff from an anatomical map, then Bellow would remove that. But that's a pretty niche use. And now for Bonnie. So, uh, I don't want... Oh, I already have it. Right, control burn. I think everything else will stay... Wait, there's no bleed on this boss, right? There's burn. But there's no bleed? Is there blind? Because hard flight can remove blind. But there's no bleed. I don't remember if there's blind. I think there was blind, right? It's been a while. Huh. Yeah, well, I might pick it up anyway. I vaguely remember blind, but maybe that was something else. Alright, I'll grab it. I don't really need any of these. I got what I wanted. Yeah, I got what I wanted. So, everything else looks fine to me. So, I could swap out Magnesium Rain and maybe get Emboldening Vapors. Not just for the damage buff, but also for the speed buff. I don't remember what the speed of the boss is. But, yeah, I don't really need Rain. I'm going to grab Emboldening Vapors. And I think that's it. Okay, that's it. Uh, check the trinkets. Uh, right, yeah, this is all fine, I guess. I don't need Thunderclap anymore. So, yeah, this is a tough one. Ablative powders would actually be pretty useful on this guy. So, I'm going to keep at least one stack. Obviously, I'll keep at least one stack of Lodanum. So, I can potentially replace the other one and the Thunderclap grenade. Yeah, I see a few options. I like the minus one stress on burn resist here. But burn salve might also be useful. Especially if someone ends up at death's door with a burn on them. This could save their ass. Okay, this actually could save somebody's ass. So I'll grab that. Maybe give that to a Baristan or so. I 
I think I'll take smog bombs. Okay, I'll take smog bombs. I think that's it then. You do get uh, extra candles just for making it to the boss, even if you don't kill the boss. Alright, well, this is it. I am going to need a little bit of luck, at least. So, uh, I've not done this since uh, they changed it up a little. Because when I last fought this guy, when I killed this guy, the best strategy by far was to just burst him down because you needed just way too much damage to the lungs. It just wasn't worth hitting the lungs. I assume that changed, but I haven't looked at like patch notes or whatever. So I don't know how that changed. So I think it used to be, I don't remember the exact number, but it was high enough that it was tough to do it with one person. Even with like two. Okay, let's just pop retribution. 30 debuff resist, okay? Forty bleed. Give him some speed. All heroes are human. No, I probably want to move manually. Okay, there, got the smoke. Let's move manually back. And I could use Anchor now or save it for the next turn. Okay, let's save it for the next turn. Oh, great, I got post all the way back. That's annoying. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Anxiety forms insidious fears. Yeah, that's already a lot of stress. Yeah, and I can't even use Rampart from here. Because that can't be used from rank 4. I have to actually, like, move. Okay, that's really unfortunate. <laughs> that's really, really unfortunate. I might just need a bolster here. He can move two spots forward, though. Okay, well, I need to start doing damage on the boss. So, I just need to start hitting him with Firefly. That is my main form of damage. So now I could use Encore. But I might need Inspiring soon. There is comfort in company. I don't want to hit Meltdown too early, that would be bad. Will each act have a boss fight zoomed further and further out? <laughs> yeah, perhaps. <laughs> it's possible. So, anyone know for certain how much damage you need to do now? 
Because it used to be like 20. I might actually look this up, I don't know. Because I need to know how much. Because again, the best strategy before the changes was to just rush down the boss. It was not worth hitting the lungs ever. It was a trap, basically. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. No, I can't find any information. There is beauty in our imperfection. Maybe it's still the same. I don't know if it's still the same. Because if it's still the same, it's just not worth hitting it. Also, this is just a shallow breath. That was eight. Yeah, no, I don't think it's worth hitting it. I think it's still the same, and if not, the difference is not big. Okay, there's blind. Yeah, I knew it. It, it did have blind. Man, he gets so many actions. Okay, shallow breath. I think it might still be best to just rush him down. Well, now I have blind, so that's not good. Two stacks. Yeah, that's not great. And I can't use indiscriminate signs because I mean, well, I can if I use battle ballad. All right, let's go. Because I need to heal this shit. No, I could use heart light. But yeah, that only removes it on allies. I think I'm better off just gambling with smoke screen. Or just try to land firefly anyway. There, okay, good. Got it. So this would be plus ten. Not some tremendous amount, but it would remove the blind. before I get it again. Yeah, this is going to be tough. I could pop a defender on Bonnie, so that's an option. Okay, let's do that. I can't have her die. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, this is still going to be hard. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm already at death's door. Yeah, this guy just does a ton of damage. I think, like, bursting him down is still the best way to go here. Not much has changed, as far as I can tell. Yeah. Empowered, emboldened. I can't heal now, unfortunately.
Yeah, I probably want to do this. At least it seems very unlikely. Yeah, I'm nowhere close to doing enough damage yet. Yeah, if she dies, that's basically most of my damage gone. Yeah, from the first check, pretty much. I think that was the first one on this fight. So, yeah, no, I can't do it anymore. But it does seem... Bursting him down is still the best way to go. But I can't do that anymore. Well, it was a nice try. I will get a lot of candles, but yeah, no, I'm dead basically. I don't have anywhere near enough damage anymore. That's the same it's always been, though. The problem was that before, if you tried to do that, you were guaranteed to lose because of how much damage you needed. I think you needed 20. So you basically needed to attack it with the entire group. And then you never did any damage on the boss. So that was the issue with this guy before. It doesn't seem like that changed. If you still need 20, then, like, there's no point attacking them. I can't even guarantee doing 20 damage with this group. Okay, that's 49. Well, good damage, but not quite enough. Okay, let's heal up. I mean, it would have been nice if someone said something earlier when I was asking how exactly the fight changed. Because I asked earlier and nobody knew. A bit too late now when I lost my biggest damage dealer. Still, if it's still 20 damage, then there's no way this group could have done it. I need to know for a fact if it's still 20 damage. Without that knowledge, like, I can't plan the fight. Like, I can't plan this fight if I don't know if it's still 20 or not. I need to know if it's 20 or less. Like, for certain. Not just a guess. Because this group cannot do 20. Yeah, see, if I knew that earlier, I would have done it differently, but now it's too late. Now it's actually too late. I needed to know that 10 minutes ago, not now. Wait, if I Alt F4... Uh, not sure when exactly the autosave happens, if I like Alt F4 right now and reload. Because it usually happens at locations, at each location. I'm not sure when it happens on a boss fight, probably each round. Because, yeah, no way I can do that now. Not gonna happen. I can try, I guess. Alright, I'll try. So, give me a moment to reload. If you delete the combat save, it can uh, reset you to the start, end of the last fight, 
or something, okay. Uh, hold on, I already clicked to load it. Save files. Okay, there's way too much crap here. Okay, I see com... Okay, th there's a lot of crap in here. Okay, holy shit, the save folder is almost one gigabyte. Alright, I'm just going to uh, start out the game again. It takes a while to load. Just so that it's not black screen. <laughs> Any day now. Yeah, I think with this group... It's... it's hard to say. I think I would need some trinkets that would help Barry stun with his damage. He would need a chance to do it himself, at least uh, on the lung in the front. So Baristan would need to do enough damage in one attack to do it. Because I need the rest of my group. Okay, this is taking a while. Uh, yeah, sometimes it takes a really long time to start the game. I'm not sure what's up with that. It's doing something. No, this group really needs the Jester. This group doesn't really work without Jester. Okay, now it's not loading at all. Great. <laughs> okay. What the shit? Okay, now I just can't start the game. <laughs> Not sure what's going on with that. I literally can't start the game anymore. Yeah, I, I just straight up can't start it. Come on. I'm not even sure if anything is happening right now. There, I think that worked. Did it? Come on. There it is. Okay, got it. I had to kill one process. But I'm pretty sure like we'll still be in the same exact spot in combat, but we'll see. Let's find out. Yeah. I mean, I think the big issue here is lack of some items that would increase my, like, uh, direct damage. Oh, he has stunned. Yeah, so how are you supposed to hit the lungs when he has stunned? <laughs> you can't. Yeah, you actually can't. Like, the only option I got right now is to hit him. Well, there you go. Pretty useless. Once again, teetering on yeah, that's a ton of damage. Like, that's way too much damage that he does with that. I did about 50%. But yeah, no, I'm basically dead. I'm pretty much dead.
Ja, Mist. Uh, story XXX combat on the end. Okay, let me uh, check. I had the folder open here. But I have two different folders here. Like with a bunch of numbers. And they both have the same exact timestamp. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Story. Story combat. Yeah, would really like to replay this fight. Like today, not a week from now. Uh, okay, there's no folder. I see just combat, but no story combat. Okay, there's no story combat, just combat. There's story assist. What's up with all these folders? That's insane. What the shit? Do they really need 113 subfolders and every single one is updated? Like what? Okay, I'm really confused here. Okay, I see... I see just combat. What the fuck? Okay, there are like 300 folders inside. Man, this save system is an absolute shit show. What the fuck? There's no way all of this shit is actually needed in here. Fifty-six thousand six hundred and fifteen files. Are you kidding me? There's no way they need fifty-six thousand files. Okay, just delete the last combat folder. All right, I'm going to try that then. I'll make a backup. So, all right, uh, let me just Alt F4 again. I guess I could have just uh, quit the game normally there, but all right. Uh, okay, let me just make a, a backup here. <laughs> I'll back up the folder and then delete it. Okay, I deleted the entire combat folder. Look into every folder, we'll wait. How about every file? 56,000 files, that'll be quick. <laughs> okay, restarting now. I guess it is a little bit cheaty, but I did kill this guy before, twice. I blame them for wiping out all of the profiles. Yeah, might take a little bit of time to start. Because I don't know why it takes so long to start. Yeah, right, now it's asking me to use the cloud save, that would be a no. Yeah, it's a little bit cluttered, definitely. By the time you finish checking all the folders, they'll be announcing XCOM free. <laughs> hey, works for me. All right, it's launching. Let's see if this works or not. Hopefully it will.
I have a backup of the folder in case I'll need it. Yeah, no, that didn't do anything. Okay, well, I guess I'll get the candles at least. It was worth a try. Yeah, see, that didn't do anything. I hit the lung. And it didn't do jack shit. I think it's still 20. I'm pretty sure that was the second hit that turn, not the first. So there's no way I can do 20. Well, it was a good try. The problem is that, like, it might take me a month or two to get past this guy. Because, you know, you need to do a whole run to get there, you need to have a good group, you need to actually get here. So if I'm going to do all of that on stream, it might take a month. And that's assuming I do nothing but stream Darkest Dungeon 2. Like, no XCOM, no save, I don't play any other game, just this. And victory will come. Okay, 55 candles, at least that's nice. How many souls are lost forever in this lightless obscurity? I guess in theory I can make a backup like before the boss, like literally just back up the entire save folder when I get there again. Because I've not had the chance to even try Act 3 and it's been what, over a month since they added Act 3? It's been a while. I understood your eagerness to build a reputation and it pained me greatly to hold you back. The crossroads. Wait by the lanterns. All right, uh, I'm still going with the same group. But yeah, I think next time I might just back up the save. I'm not sure. Okay, I think this time I'll get the vanguard though. I mean, it's a tough one. They are both good. I don't like the resist penalties, and I do like having that stun. Yeah, no, I'm still getting ball work. Indiscriminate science surgeon. The surgeon's hand. Uh, don't have orphan yet, so arsonist still. Uh, right, surgeon, ball work, arsonist. A murderous melody lingers. Long Let's go spend the, the candles. Time for denial has passed. Nah, I really need the jester for this setup. Because I need Encore. I mean, not just that, but... It's a really good group, it's just tricky on that boss. Uh, okay, so let's see. Oh yeah, uh, let's check... The more they have to hold uh, here, memories first. Fight. Yeah, there we go. I can grab that again. Uh, that's five candles. So I will. It's worth five candles. For a in the light of so Bonnie will get that. Plus one burn damage dealt. And now, let's see. Now I could unlock Orphan for the next run after this. That's 18 candles. So let's grab that. That's also plus one speed. And a trinket. Yeah, burn causing skills plus 33% uh, burn damage dealt. I need that. And uh, what's this? If in stealth, plus 100% burn chance until the next in. Eh. 
Doctor. What about the Plague Doctor? And that's 32 candles now. Uh, actually, yeah, hold on, hold on. Let's level this up here. A candle discount. For next time. What else do we have here? And plus 15% movement resist. Wisdom will help you choose a path. Arriving at Oasis gives you free mineral rich spring water. Okay, I'll take that. So that's 12. Let's use the remaining candles for like trinket unlocks. Uh, so, okay. Let's grab a trinket or two first. That's not useful. And we delighted in their ancient tales. Eh, I mean, it's not terrible. Eh. Okay, another one. A drop of sanity. Apply on hit. If flame is lower than 40, 33% chance for a combo. Melee skill ignore 66% chance of dead blow resist. Okay, you know what that is. You know what this is, yeah? This is the anti-exemplar trinket. That's literally what it is. Like, that's what this is. Is the fuck this guy in particular trinket? The exemplar in particular. Uh, okay, so that's eight. Let's pop a stagecoach item. A welcome advancement in the Compress kit. Okay, increases stacking. One more. And some in items. Every twinkling okay, that's good. Is another implement at our disposal. Eh, okay. New instrument does crap. Diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Covered cloak. Oh yeah, that's like a ranged version of uh, what we just had a moment ago. I guess this would be useful, uh, potentially, on Bonnie, with that trinket that gives you plus 100% chance uh, to burn effects if you're in stealth. Just need flame under 40, so either in Fenner mode or just keep it under 40. Okay, well, that's zero left. Sanctuary, as fleeting as a dying star. Uh, right, yeah, these are. Uh, hmm. Right, let me just swap these skills. Uh, I'm going to uh, like go to the inn, so that we can continue from there the next stream. Uh, let me just pick up the skills real quick. So, Rampart, Bolster, Retribution, uh, Bellow. Uh, here. That's that. Firefly, Smokescreen, Cauterize, Ransack. And I guess fire starter for now. And that's mostly fine, but encore. Keep incision, battlefield medicine, indiscriminate science, cause of death, magnesium rain. All right, so let's go to the inn. 
Uh, right, so... Hmm. So these are really best if your flame is under 40. Scavenge what you can. To bird traps, to stimulants. Okay, that's not too bad. Incoherently. So harder. Remain fixed. And nothing particularly useful here. Check his in items. And grab the pipe weed. I guess I'll take the whiskey bottle too. All right. Uh, see you, me, Lumber. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we're mostly done for today. I'm just going to the inn. And we'll wrap it up there. I think with some better trinkets, I can do that act to boss with this group. But they need something that will help them with direct damage against the lungs. If you really have to hit them now. So we'll see about that. Okay, that's basically a kill. And same with that one. All right, done. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Hey, this will help me with my inventory space, I guess. For now. Although I would have preferred the storage trunk. Lower your guard. All right. It is safe here. Yeah, so I'm not going to use any items because when I load it back up, they will be unused anyway. So, not much point doing that. Uh, right, so I guess that's it for today. Uh, I can check the quirks real quick. Eagle eye. Okay. Hatred of cadavers. All right. Germophobe. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we will continue this. I would like to make it to Act 3 boss, at the very least. So, uh, But I do have some other games I might stream in the nearest future. Some newer ones, some older ones. I've been testing out some mods. I don't really want to say any specifics yet, because I don't know what I'll end up streaming and what I want. Oh yeah, and obviously uh, the next... A leader pack for Civ 6 is coming out on, I think, January the 22nd. Uh, that's the Rulers of China one. I will obviously be doing that. And uh, I'm still kind of testing some mods for uh, the next XCOM 2 campaign uh, this year. I might actually do a stream just like for testing purposes. Hey, but yeah, that's that for today. Thanks for coming, everyone. I appreciate it. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Good night.